Hello, I am David W. Parker, and this is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL series, episode 28. Today we're going to be looking at multiple shapes being drawn simultaneously. So, here we're starting off with our index file, and everything is the same. We have a resizer at the very bottom of the file, which calls draw. And within draw, we're going to have a clear color, clearing the color buffer bit. And then we're going to have three different functions here, draw point, draw line, and draw triangle. So what you ultimately see is we have a point here, we have a line here, and we have a triangle here. And so we scroll down, we can see here's the draw point function, and it's going to initialize the point buffers, and then it's going to call gl.points on it afterward. Within the point buffers, we're going to go ahead and set our vertices, set our end, um, create the buffer, attribute location, and then finally have the pointer for the attribute location. All very, very similar stuff that we're used to. Same thing within draw line, we're going to initialize the line buffers. And then we're going to go ahead and then here we're going to have the vertices for the two uh, line points. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for the triangle. Now, actually, if I go ahead and refresh this, this is the actual what we have here. We have a straight line, we have this triangle here, and then point here. So it's a lot of code. Um, it's a lot of repeated code, especially in the initialization here drawing things here. So we can come up with a generic format where we're taking in a type and a set of vertices and we're going to initialize the buffers within there and then draw arrays of that type. So for example we could pass in the uh, triangles and then it'll know to draw a triangle. We just need to send the proper vertices for it. Calculate our verse uh, in based on the vertices length divided by 2 as before. And we're going to create the buffer and everything else within here is the exact same. So we have init buffers which can be reused as well. So if we go back up here and we comment at these out, now we can have this more generic format where we take in the point vertices, the line vertices, triangle vertices, and we go ahead and assign it the, pro the corresponding draw type that we want. And this is what you saw before. So now we refresh that, and we can see we have a couple of slight different values for these just to show they're different but a little more generic format. So this is a really easy way where you can start to convert a lot of your stuff so that you can be reused and uh, have lots of things being drawn on the screen at the same time. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, if you like what you saw, please subscribe, uh, like the video, go to programmingtil.com and sign up for my newsletter, and go ahead and share on social media if you will. Thank you and have a great day.